Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another pouring medium showdown. This time, just one pouring medium. It's something new that I'm trying. A very easy one-to-one -one ratio. And we're going to have a ton of fun. We're just going to experiment, try different techniques. We're going to do some swiping. We're going to do some blooming. So this video is kind of long, so we're going to go ahead and get started. If we haven't met, my name is Garrett Brown, and this is Garrett Brown Art Studios, and I am back with another video. Let's go. All right, family. Today, I am using a new pouring medium. I've received about eight bottles of this artist loft, so I am trying out some new things, and this is gonna be a simple one-to-one -one ratio. And let's talk about our base paint as well. What I have done, I have mixed my Glendon with some of my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in a liter container, and I add about two to three ounces of water, along with about an ounce or a little bit more of GAC 100. Excuse me, GAC 800. I mix and stir this very well to get this consistency. So all of my paints are mixed to a consistency of about three to one. Um, you will always have to make some adjustments. I don't measure very often. Um, these paints are similar in nature. However, the atelier tends to thicken up a bit as well as the artist log. So I may have to make some minor adjustments after I finish, mix, finish mixing it up. But a good starting point is a three to one ratio. And that is three parts pouring medium to one part paint. my piggy today I start with some pigment powder and I use GAC 800 as my wetting agent what that does is allow all of the pigment to get wet and mixed up and then I start to add in my pouring medium I'm not for certain of the ratio because I just go by feel and flow so you'll kind of have to play around with it and see what works best for you
ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start this pour. I'm going to lay down my base paint. Not going to cover the entire substrate this go around because I'm going to spin. So that should be enough. I'll pour our colors on here. Uh, this little piggy, this is peanut grease. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but I'm just gonna do a little drizzle. And we're gonna top things off with our s'mores. Ooh, yeah, I can't wait to see how that turns out. And we're going to take my pie knife and we're going to load this thing up with some cell activator. We're going to start off with the black cell activator and then we're going to put some white on top. All right, here we go. Look at, wow guys, look what we got going on. Check out these gorgeous cells. Ah, uh, things just happen so quickly. We're gonna take a little more cell activator and go over this part. Wow. And let's have some fun and wreck this thing a bit. Check out these gorgeous cells, my friend. We're about to spin this baby out and I'm excited to see what is going to happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to spin this out. I wanna keep this, but I don't wanna keep this. No telling what's gonna actually happen until we do it and we are doing it. <laughs> Look at there. Look what I got to keep, y'all. I love it. Check out that area right there and this gorgeous lace and sails. Look at 
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Now, right now, I'm not a huge fan of the s'mores. It didn't mesh quite as well as I had hoped. And I think my consistency could be a bit off. This time, I'm switching things up just a little bit. Instead of doing a black and white cell activator, I'm just going to do a white cell activator, but I'm adding black in as a color. So I have mixed it up with my pouring medium, and I'm going to add it to the mix. Um, it seems like everyone out there never has trouble with black cell activator, but I cannot get it to react the same way as my white cell activator. So I just want to see if I can get a better effect um, with putting it as a color. And also, I'm just going to drizzle on some of my little piggies instead of pouring them on. All right, so this time I'm adding the black up top. Just a good line of it will do. And I am also changing up my tool. We're going to use our number 16 today. All right, here we go. Just going to ride the paint as light as I can with a little bit of pressure here. Maybe I needed a little bit more pressure. <laughs> and just for fun, we're going to take some cell, black cell activator, and see if we can do something here. Love that reaction. All right, so now I'm going to tilt a little bit, get some of this off. And we're going to bring it back. And we're just experimenting here. Let's have some fun. I'm going to take my pick here and I'm just going to go through this thing and we're going to spin it out and see what happens. And we're going to do one more pull away here. Got a lot of paint there. And now we're going to spin. Pretty much lost everything. Oh. Um, I'm going to try and put some of my paint on my tool here. Starting out with a little cell activator, you know.
This is actually really pretty. Loving all the pretty cells that have come from this. Okay, I kind of like it. We're going to try it again over here and just see what happens. Ooh, ooh, look at those, look at those. I just love the flow of this. It's so different, it's unique. All right, let's take this bad boy for a spin. I really, really like this, with the exception of my cells here that got lost in the sauce. Once again, I've loaded up my tool here, and I'm going to shake some of the excess off. And let's just see what happens. Really pretty cells. Uh, all right. I'm going to scrape this off. This is all of my leftover paint from these last couple pours. I'm just going to mix this up to get some random color here. And we're going to use this as a base. And we're going to experiment a little bit more. The point of this video was to show you this new pouring recipe and just trying different things out. So I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, please smash that like and subscribe button. This time we are going to try a bloom. I'm going to use my same paints here. Uh, hopefully I can get some good results. And I'm going to spread out this paint a bit. Going to drizzle a little bit of our s'mores up here. All right, let me get you guys in for a close-up really quickly. Loving these colors together. Probably a little too much cell activator still in the center. But we're going to spin this bad boy out.
Oh, not bad. Y'all, don't ask me why I'm on this pick so much, but I am, so it is what it is. We're going to do some. Okay, I kind of like this. I'm gonna do one more spin. I like this. I love my center. That's the only part I don't like, but everything else is a keeper. I love these swirls in there. It's just giving it some interest, you know? Um, I normally don't do videos this long, so let's go ahead and end this with this is our final result. Um, so give this pouring medium a try. It's fun. Um, it's easy to mix and it's versatile. He was so tired after the video. Um, but remember, treat your friends, your family, and even uh, your enemies with love. And thank y'all for watching. Um, I'm not sure what else he would say, but we thank you for tuning in. And I hope you like our production. And yeah, so bye-bye.